Make sure to check your corners. Don't see anything so far. Hello? Oh, 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 where is that? Oh, oh! Something strange is about to happen on the next level. So let's go up and check it out. <laughs> Welcome back to Animal Revolt Battle Simulator. The map that I'm on right now is called Ballista Rain, and it's called that for good reason. So all the tiger has to do is run to the other side and not die. Here we go. Go. Oh, wait, no, wait. Oh, he's actually doing a pretty good job. He's just so fast. Look at him go. Oh, yes. Come on. You got this, tiger. Yes. There we go. Come on. You're so close. He's done it. <laughs> actually oh no oh jeez okay well the tiger has actually completed the challenge pretty much wait has he managed to oh no we lost still he wasn't able to kill the box even though he made it to the other side we still lost the challenge so once again this map is made by agent i just i like to play agents maps all right they're great anyway i want to set myself a bit of a challenge i want a unit that is a little bit stronger possibly fast okay maybe not faster than the tiger we could go for a rhino a rhino could definitely work but i want to customize it and then that way Way, we should be able to actually stop the ballistas from hitting us. So here we go. Let's create anti-ballista armor. We can use like a Roman shield right here. There we go. Tortoise formation. Oh, look at that. Really cover him up. Yeah, let's go a little crazy with the armor just to really make sure that he can make it through all of those ballistas. Yeah, this is looking pretty crazy. I mean, surely this rhino right here with all that armor will easily make it to the other side. Now, you might be thinking, how is this rhino supposed to see where it's going? But don't worry, I have a solution. We're just going to give it eyes on the outside right here. There we go. Now he'll be able to see perfectly fine. Also, it's very wonky. You know what? <laughs> We're going to keep it. Test one. Let's go. Run. Where are you going? Rhino. Aha, there we go. Yes. See, look, he's got the speed. He's strong. Oh, my goodness. We're going to do it. Oh, no. No. His underbelly got exposed. No. Okay, that is definitely a weak spot. And now he's trapped. All right, it's not looking too good. Look at that. It really is just raining arrows, raining bolts, whatever you want to call it from the ballistas. It's too powerful. Health-wise, we're about halfway. All right, let me just give him just a little nudge. Tiny nudge with my camera because that's a thing in ARBs. Oh, no, he's still getting hit. So you see the issue here, because he has all those arrows underneath him, he just can't run anywhere. Oh, yeah. We're going to have to change the design just a little bit. Rest in peace. I'm actually having way too much fun on this map. I am really invested in getting this rhino to the other side and winning this. All right, so it's a little awkward to get armor on his belly. So I don't know how we're going to do this, to be honest. That right there. Yeah, it's probably better than nothing. Okay, we've got a little bit of armor underneath now. Also, I don't know how I only just realized this, but uh, his butt is exposed. So as soon as he basically gets past like this point here, he's just going to get shot in the butt and just die. Now, I don't know if this is cheating or not, but we could strap, you know, just a couple of small jet engines to this unit. Maybe just one like that. All right, second test. Here we go. Go, go, go. All right, this is looking pretty good. Yep, so far so good. Come on. Yes, he's gonna do it. Yes, he's losing control of it. Right, now destroy the block. Destroy it. Oh, wait, here's another issue. He can't attack the block because of all the armor. Okay, great. Well, I, I guess it's back to the drawing board. We just need to make a couple more customizations and then we're good to go. Never mind, we won. <laughs> we did it somehow. So my custom rhino did it, but just as a science experiment, we're gonna send in Goru. If you can even call this a science experiment, because, you know, Goru probably would have been a good choice, but actually looking at it now, he is really, really struggling. I don't know what my rhino's doing. Oh, okay. Whoa, it's off. There he goes. Woo! Oh, he's gonna do it. And he's distracting all the blisters, so Goru might stand a chance, or maybe not. Oh, no! What's the rhino doing? He's gone off the map. Oh, jeez. Look at the state of him. Looks like he's getting like an acupuncture or whatever it's called. Acupuncture? Right, I've just flung Goru out of the map because let's face it, he didn't stand a chance. But anyway, let's move on. So I had no idea that this existed on the workshop until today. This right here is a nuke. Yep, that's right. Someone has made a nuke. It looks pretty impressive from here. I have not seen it in action yet, and I'm pretty excited to do so, but uh, also a little bit nervous about it. So let's start the fight. Okay, how do you even... Wait, is it going to detonate itself? Wait, what? What is happening? Are the archers trying to shoot the nuke right now? Okay, how do we detonate this thing? Right, I've had an idea. I think it's only fair that a Pujectile gorilla sets off the nuke. All right, get ready. 
and fire. Oh my goodness, that is insane. That is actually incredible. That is the biggest explosion I have ever seen in Animal Revolt Battle Simulator. That worked incredibly well. Wow, there's literally nothing left of that little C. Right, I gotta see this again, but in slow motion. Oh, look at that. This is a really cool map to test it on, but also really laggy. Wow. <laughs> I am so impressed by that. All because of Poo Jack Dog Gorilla 2. So here I am in the back rooms. I am currently the first person shooter character. I've got my rifle here. And let's go hunt down some entities, shall we? All right, this is actually pretty terrifying. The back rooms is, of course, absolutely massive, filled with monsters and scary creatures. Okay, let's go uh, Let's go this way and see what we can find. I, I don't even know what floor we're on right now. I mean, this place is pretty much infinite, right? So infinite entities, infinite monsters. Whoa! Okay, what was that? Oh, that actually genuinely scared me. I heard... Whoa, why is there rockets going off down here? Like a missile launcher. What is that? Okay, it looks clear down here. The sound is coming from over this direction. So let's let's move in and see what we can find, shall we? It's not often that I'm a character in arms. This is quite different. Make sure to check your corners. Don't see anything so far. Hello? <gasps> oh, oh, where is that? Oh, oh, monster! It's an entity! What is that? Number one! Oh, jeez! Take it down! Take it down! Oh, did I die? I died. It got me straight away. Look at the state of that thing. That is disturbing and disgusting. You know what? Let's send in Goru to take down the monster, shall we? There it is. Take it down, Goru. You can do this. Yes, come on. No. Well, he died. Okay. What kind of st- Oh, my goodness. Well, I, I don't think we're going to be able to kill this guy anytime soon. Howard Cole, run. It's behind you, dude. Get out of there. Oh, no. Run. No, Coward Cole. Of course, he didn't stand a chance against the entity. Oh, so freaky looking. Right, now I've got myself a shotgun. And what I'm going to do is head upstairs to the next level. And, uh, well, see what's up there. Hopefully, with this shotgun, should be able to do a much better job of killing any entities. So, uh, let's go. Okay. Anything up here? You know what? This level seems pretty clear so far. I'm a little bit nervous. It's so scary being in the back rooms. Oh, what is that? Did you hear that? There's definitely something here. There, it's a hound. That's not the kind of hound I expected to see in the back rooms, but either way, let's take it down. It's a hell hound. Fire. Uh-oh. Come on, die. Ah, oh, there we go. We got it. I mean, fairly easy to take these guys down, right? I think there might be some more of them. I can hear them growling over here. Oh, okay. Here we go. Here we go. They're definitely over here somewhere. All right, fire. I see him. Take him down. Keep firing. Keep firing. Ugh. Okay, there we go. We did it. Wait, no, we didn't because I can hear another one. Hello? Hellhound. Sounds very close. He might be behind this wall right here. Yeah, there he is. I'm in fire. Engage. Oh, no. Stay back. Oh. Something strange is about to happen on the next level. So let's go up and check it out. Here we have Huggy Wuggy in the back rooms. I know, very weird combination. What's Huggy Wuggy doing here? But uh, he is going up against Killy Willy. Oh my goodness, look at that. Killy Willy is basically Huggy Wuggy, but like a more terrifying version, right? And more powerful version. Oh, is he running away? He's going down the set. Oh my God. Wait, what the? No. <laughs> He's fallen out of the back rooms. How is that even possible? Oh no, Huggy Wuggy's dead. Oh my goodness. Huggy Wuggy, the first to find the exit to the back rooms. He's clipped back into the real world. Well, maybe not really. He's just gone into the void and died. I know something that can take down Killy Willy, and that is the end entity we saw earlier surely right here we go oh they're fighting who's gonna win oh there we go i knew it i knew the entity could take this guy down oh boy what's under is uh, very very disturbing <laughs> but now there's a new killy willy and also a new huggy wuggy so let's see who will actually win the fight i mean surely huggy wuggy's just gonna die right let's find out shall we fingers again pretty weird yeah he's, he's getting messed up huggy wuggy doesn't stand a chance this is such a weird fight in the back rooms but you know what anything happens in the back rooms right kind of oh he's done it just like that huggy wuggy is dead and this <laughs> is what's left oh that is terrifying we got another battle going on in the back rooms. This right here is Cyborg Kong. As you can see, very powerful, very, very strong unit. And then over here, we have Godzilla. Of course, it wouldn't be an Animal Revolt Battle Simulator without Godzilla here. But, uh, well, Godzilla is struggling a little bit. Here we go. They're about to see each other for the first time. Let's see what happens here, shall we? I actually don't know if I've made these two fight before or not. So I'm not sure who's going to win. I probably have. 
Oh, here we go. There goes the plasma beams. I think their stats are fairly similar. I mean, surely a cyborg version of King Kong would be able to defeat Godzilla, right? I mean, he has all these weapons and blades and plasma beams. Oh, he's fallen over. Get up! Get up! You're gonna die in the back rooms. You definitely don't want that. Oh, he's done it! Godzilla's dead! Yes! He took quite a bit of damage, but he's done it. I think cyborg... Kong might be our savior. Because over here, look how many hounds we have. I've never seen this many hounds together in the back rooms before. You know what? I still reckon Kong has got this. Even though there's so many of them right here, it should be pretty easy. All right, here we go. Yeah, look at that. Oh, he's going to absolutely destroy them. You know what? Using Kong might be the best way to actually just kill all the entities in the back rooms. But then again, the back room is kind of like infinite, right? <laughs> Just filled with endless entities. I wonder what entities could take him down, though. I guess he's just way too powerful. Has he done it? Yeah, he's done it. Yes. Right, we've got here, I think, Choo Choo Charles. <laughs> Very terrifying. Uh, let, let's see what happens, shall we? Oh, he, <laughs> he's done it. Victory again. But anyway, on that note, I'm going to end this one right here. There's another video on the top right. So make sure you go ahead and check it out. Also, don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. And I'll hopefully see you in that video right there. Goodbye!